and I got a question from a kid named Mike, and this is going to be seem like a softball question after our conversation, but he is really struggling with the LSAT, and he's wondering if maybe he should take that as a sign that he's not supposed to be a lawyer. That's a great question. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a tough position to be in. I mean, I, I'd want to know more before giving a real answer on this. If, let's say, Mike has been studying for a year and invested countless hours and thousands of dollars in LSAT prep and his score just isn't budging and he's stuck in the 130s or 140s, I would caution him and say maybe law school isn't for him just because if you can't get the score, you may end up taking on massive law school debt and maybe having trouble in law school or passing the bar. But if on the flip side, He's only been studying for two to three months and maybe he hasn't invested enough in LSAT resources. Yep. Maybe it is worth changing his approach, acknowledging it may take longer than he initially thought. And maybe he has to get some more books or get a course or something like that. So I would encourage him. And I think most students are typically in that latter category where the LSAT's more than they expected. And they're just kind of stuck in a score plateau. I'd say, look at what you're doing differently. Maybe you were like me and just taking more and more exams and measuring yourself. So if you can change your approach and analyze your problem areas more deeply, and maybe get some actual LSAT prep tests, maybe get a few of those books of 10, you could definitely change where you're at and improve over the next few months. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.